Well, good afternoon, or whatever it is, wherever you are. Um, this is George, coming to you from Kitchen Table Scale Models. Coincidentally, at the kitchen table. Um, here tonight, or this afternoon, to unveil my uh, Left Coast Model Car Builds Group Build Entrant of um, build, build, build the car that got you started. Uh, the kit that started it all for you building model cars. Um, if you saw my prior video, you know that uh, where I did the unboxing of this kit. Uh, this kit, the 63 Vet, uh, holds a special special place for me. Um, it's a kit that I built in 1963. What made it special is prior to this, I had not built many cars and I really wasn't all into cars. Uh, when the 63 Vet came out and I saw one at, at a local dealership, I was just, I, it, it, it was life changing. Um, it got me hooked on cars. Shortly after that, I saw this model on the shelf at my local shop, and it was the first model car kit I purchased solely because of the subject. Um, prior to that, I, although I had built a few automotive subjects, they were mostly pickup trucks, and most of my building were things like aircraft carriers and army tanks and stuff like that. But um, yeah, this, this was, uh, I built this kit in 63. This was, uh, this is, if you will, a uh, an original AMT 63 Corvette kit, much like the one that uh, I destroyed in 1963. And when I say destroyed, let me expound on that a little bit. Um, you know, about that time, I'd you know some of the some of the kids in school, you know, I was what sixth, seventh grade. You know, they every, everybody was talking about the cool way to build model cars was to use spray paint. So I got this thing and I thought, you know what, my dad's got some spray paint down in the garage. I bet I could use. And I grabbed a can of Krylon Silver, that I don't know what he was using it for, painting shovels or something, but um, it it was it was a hot lacquer and it just it just crazed the life out of it. Um, I ended up eventually brush painting it with testers blue um learned a little bit about paint at that point um and i guess that's why i'm, I'm still pretty reluctant to use any kind of hardware star point paint and i realize that i'm talking about you know heck 60 years ago so paint formulas probably changed but anyway uh i digest this is the uh amt 63 corvette hardtop kit split window um built pretty much stock uh, i put uh, the wheels on this came out of a uh, the newer release 63 corvette hardtop kit that really isn't a 63 it was the street rod series i think and um if you're familiar with that kit it's, it's sold as a 63 but it's got a big block in it and as we all know big blocks didn't come in 63 vets um but these wheels are real close replica of the uh, optional wheels that were available in 63. Um, the uh, the uh, paint on this um, is Scale Finishes Kingsway Red. It's a uh, it's a trade color. Um, it's not an, it's you know it's not a color that's used on a car. Uh, Scale Finish has, a, has great deals. Uh, their paint is wonderful, and I have bought a ton of it with uh, going going with their grab bag. Where you know, for however much you basically it, you get the, you get it, it's almost half price, uh, but you know you get you get whatever they send you, and uh, well, that's that's what they sent me. That was part of the order. The uh, the gloss on here is their honey gloss, uh, which on their web page they say. Uh, is close to 2k clear i don't know i don't use 2k 2k clear and i won't i don't want to i don't want to expose myself to the fumes or my dogs to the fumes um so i uh, you know i'm pretty happy with this uh I, there's no no wax on this it's right uh, right out of the airbrush um i did go with model car garage uh photo etched uh photo etched set uh, this is the most extensive use I've ever made of photo etched, and uh, I, I'm, I'm really, really happy with the way it came out. I've struggled with it in the past, uh, trying to get it to, to stick without making a mess with whatever I was using to stick it. Um, I've tried everything from 
gloss coat, uh, um, CAC cement of different consistencies. And uh, the one thing I hadn't tried up until now was using the thick gel CAC, which is what uh, I saw recommended on a post somewhere. And I thought, okay, well, you know, I've tried everything else so far. Let's see how that works. Um, it worked well. Uh, I'm very happy with it. it. It gave me a little bit of time to position the part and it dried crystal clear. So uh, it really didn't mess my paint at all. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the interior is painted with uh, Gunzi Sangio, Mr. Color um, Character Red. And uh, let's see if I can get this thing to focus on the on the instrument panel, which eh, you can sort of see. I'm going to be posting a little slideshow over my uh, over at the Kitchen Table Scale Models Facebook page with some photos. Um, we'll give you some close-ups on this uh, engine. Uh, like like all the old AMT kits, the early AMT kits that were pretty much promo based, very simple kit, very basic, not a lot of pieces. Engine detail is minimal, but it, it looks nice. Um, there's no uh, no um, no radiator hoses, so didn't have to worry about that. Also, it didn't come with a side view mirror. Uh, and interestingly enough, the 363 VET kits I have of different eras, uh, none of them came with a side view mirror. This one was the original. The hot rod kit from sometime in the 70s did not have a side view mirror, and uh, the more recent uh, Roadster kit that was released a few years ago does not have a side view mirror. Chassis on this, again, was basic. Uh, I do not, uh, you know, I I know a lot of guys will do, uh, a lot of builders will, will, will try to detail paint this, and they can do a darn good job. Um, I've done it. I think I can do a decent job, but quite frankly, I'd rather put my time elsewhere um, I don't want to say it falls under the heading sometime of polishing a turd, but I, that's kind of how I view it. It's, this does not lend itself to detailing, so I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to make it into something it isn't. Um, it's a shelf model. It's one that I, uh, gosh, if I had, if I had this built on, uh, February 14th when Mark Batson, uh, challenged us to post a model that you really love. Uh, this 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 pretty much would have to be it. Um, I've since I started building again three years ago. I've I've, I've really I've, I've built some cars that I'm really really happy with. But uh, this one this one just puts a smile on my face just to look at it and think about it. I'm really happy with the way it came out. Um, the scale finishes product uh, is, is excellent and and really I think that they deserve a lot of the credit for the. Uh, for the results I'm seeing here. Um, so yeah, so that's uh, that's it. Um, again, shout out to Left Coast Model Car Builds for this, uh, this great group build. Um, keep watching the channel. I've working on, uh, I've got some other stuff I'm working on. Um, working on the uh, 31 Rolls Royce for the uh, Vintage Monogram Group build. Got some work done on that today. Um, Started fooling around with my 40 Ford sedan delivery for the uh, uh, Mama NNL, Mid-Atlantic NNL show that's coming up in April. Uh, golly, what else am I doing here? Got, I've got a little bit of stash ad. I gotta, I'm going to have another video coming up. Uh, I'm going to do another What's Cooking. Uh, probably in a, this week, maybe late, maybe next weekend. Um, I've got some things I'm going to introduce in there, kind of give you an update on where I am with the Rolls-Royce. And... Uh, show you a few other things that I've got uh, in the works. Um, um, I've decided I'm going to go back and try to try to finish a couple kits that uh, I put on the shelf of shame about a year ago and uh, I'm ready to ready to get get back on. So uh, I, thanks uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, appreciate you checking checking out my videos. Hope you like this build. Hope you like my videos. If you do, please like and subscribe. If you don't like don't subscribe. Um, if you don't like, don't tell your friends about it. But of course, if you do, please tell everybody about it. Go ahead and share this and post it all over. And um, yeah, so you know, again, thanks, thanks, y'all. And uh, this is George coming to you from Kitchen Table Scale Models, saying, have a great night. <laughs>